I stayed in luxury animals hotels. Vamos embora, vamos lá ver aqui o videozinho. Siga, siga. I'm staying in luxury animal hotels. Where you can sleep right next to lions, have a bed next to tigers, watch bears, and way more. Starting with a premium... Vai ver uns assim meios podas. Se calhar que o animal não tem assim muito espaço. Ora, este é altamente. Or what I chose. Check out the living room. Here you can see tons of animals. Eu não fazia a mínima ideia. Não sei se vocês sabiam, mas os ursos polares são os ursos mais fodidos. Contra os humanos, não é? São mais agressivos. Pai, são os mais fofos, não é? Porque acabam por ser. Pá, são branquinhos e o caralho, um gajo associativo. Ah. I could definitely move here. Oh my gosh. This bathroom is insane. You can watch the bears from the bathtub. There's even a sauna with a view of the bears. I can't believe I have this place all to myself. Luckily, when you stay here, you get 24-hour access to the zoo. This is the most luxurious zoo I've ever seen. Like, there's fancy marble statues of the animals. And here they even have one of the rarest zoo animals in the world. The white tiger, which is sadly endangered and really hard to find in the wild. But there's... Olha, como é que é estes bichos, mano? Esta, esta cena é, mano, a natureza é fodida. Também giraffes, sea lions, eating lunch, e um bird from back home in America. Are you good? Are they keeping you free? But uh, this zoo still has way more like a jazz band of robot bears and tons of different lands to explore, like Land of the Colds. You mean my heart? <laughs> uh, you can find the Walrus Hotel in Land of the Cold for about $800 a night. Or even better, you can stay in the Alaska Hotel, where your window will look right into the polar bears. There you get to watch them swim around or just go about their day. And there's even this hotel lobby area to watch the polar bears and walruses play together. And it's crazy, this is just the beginning. We still have way more luxury animal hotels to get to. And the next hotel might have the weirdest hotel room I've ever stayed in. Because it's inside a safari park resort and right past these gardens. Welcome to the Tiger Lodge. This is crazy. In this hotel, the tigers will walk right up to your window. This is crazy. And even start to cuddle up right next to you. So throughout your day, you'll work, relax, and eat right next to the tigers. So I really hope this glass is strong. Certo. This is not really a hotel room. It's more just like a house. You've got your bookshelf, super cozy living room, even a full-size Christmas tree. Obviously, even your bedroom has a view. Infligement are them so wide. Your security throughout the night. And if you have friends, just go across the hall to get to their room. This place is so luxurious, you even get a resort guide. He'll show you around, like, I found out I have an outdoor bath with a view. And he even introduced the tiger to staying with me. Amura is the female. You'll be able to tell them apart because Misha is quite a lot physically larger uh, than she is. Basically, this is Amura, the older and more aggressive cat. Whoa. While this guy, Misha, is super chill. Like, look at him. He's just relaxing and enjoying being outside. Ok, é que tem 4 anos, está tipo só... Pá, dei me tais e está tudo bem. É que tem 8, já está mais... Apparently, every animal house comes with a golf cart so you can explore this weird resort. It's so weird. I've never been to a zoo this quiet. É um instinto animal a desenvolver-se. I walk up to the monkeys and no one's around. Hello. I was even the only one there at the gorillas. Like, I'm the only one walking around. There's a huge dinosaur forest with over a hundred dinosaurs. And close by are the rhinos. They've got toys like half of a tree to play with and of course being a safari park you can go on a safari to see all the animals this place is huge you'll see wolves antelope a camel blocking the way and then as it gets later you can walk back to your cabin and check in on your tigers hey misha it's so funny they still act like a house cat but their paws are like bigger than your head clearly misha was getting ready to sleep so i decided to hang out with him and read a book i've definitely never been to a hotel quite like this one imagine i sleep right here this is so ridiculous this video is not going to be cheap. This Tiger Lodge costs a thousand dollars a night, but I will say it's been one of the best hotels I've ever stayed in. Literally seeing a tiger right in front of your bed is like a once in a lifetime experience. But we've got to rest up because our next hotel is inside a zoo that's almost 200 years old. The London Zoo. So basically the London Zoo has lion lodges. Eu acho que quando nós vamos tipo a zoos e oceanários e tudo lá fora, estamos sempre muito mal habituados. Não estou a comparar isto com a cena de dormirem à frente de um tigre. Mas é porque as cenas aqui na Tuga, tipo, são... Como é que eu vos hei de explicar? São, são incríveis. Tanto o cenário como o zoo, como isso tudo. Rent for the night in the middle of the zoo, right next to the lions. We'll check into this $400 a night lion cabin in a second, because first... These are the lions next door. The zoo keeps two lions here with the goal of them having cubs. How do you see it? 
Are you? Yes, sweetie. And luckily, I met someone who knows a lot about them. She knows me. Look, she you see, you. she does this with me. Aria, darling. How are you, sweetness? What's her name? Aria. Aria. And the, and the male? Bonnie. Sweetness continues. Just call him, yeah. Banu is a very um, talkative lion. No, you go up to the floor, no. then like the chuffing. <laughs> He'll really just go on and on and on. Look, look. You're missing a beautiful shot here. It's a beautiful shot. They have no cubs um, whatsoever. So they don't have any chemistry. It's weird. They have their moments. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he knows how to mate. <laughs> a couple years ago, Banu and Arya got put together to have cubs. But they haven't yet. And I'm no lion expert, but it does kind of look like he's a little afraid of her. Arya, why did you slap Banu in his face just now? You horrid <laughs> Oh, you're a fully dog. That is it, eh? What is your name, by the way? My Juma. 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 How many years have you been coming here? Because clearly you have so much knowledge about the animal. 23 years already. But I've always liked animal behavior. So of course I had to show them my tiger hotel. And this is my hotel room, right in front of the tigers. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Look where that is. And so all night he's like right there. I've seen a bear looking for her. <laughs> he's like, he fell asleep and he fell asleep like, where, where did she go? <laughs> Pá, não leão é mesmo a cena mais fodida, eu acho. Qual é o animal que vocês acham que é mais impressionante? Porque o leão, mano, só este rugido, moço. É mesmo o rei da selva. Claro que um elefante e essas cenas também, mas o leão é mesmo, vocês sabem. Um para um com o leão, mano. They even have a Komodo dragon and a real sloth. Hello. And some interesting exhibits. This zoo gets a lot more wild at night, but first let's see our hotel room. It's a pretty simple room, but honestly, it's all I need. Bed and a couch and a bathroom. These line lodges might not be as luxurious as the other two I've stayed in, but you get a private tour and can listen to the lions roaring all night. Banu really was feeling talkative. You get to meet the zoo's alpaca named Alpaca Chino, a super energetic armadillo. Alpaca Chino, I'm not known. Alpaca. But we've got to rest up. Good morning. Because we're off to the most unique Airbnb I've ever stayed in. On the luxury scale, this one might be near the bottom because it's inside a barn. I think this is it. When you first walk in, it might look normal, but it has a secret. Hello? Here's your main space and living room. Kitchen, seating area over here. More cool old chairs. Warm fireplace. Here's the bedroom. And something very special behind this curtain. See, in this hotel, you have a roommate. This is Basil. He's a 12 year old, two and a half foot tall mini Shetland horse that'll sleep right next to you. That's I'm funny, man. And that's my bed. And so when you stay here, it's kind of your job to babysit. What are you doing? Se magoar, vai aumentar a coçar a boca, literalmente. This is easily the weirdest Airbnb I've ever been in. I mean that as a compliment. But you get a pretty big bedroom and many random horse-related objects. Never stop snacking. Basil is super well behaved and tries his best to chew quietly at night. But it's pretty comfortable overall because it costs just over $200 per night to stay here. And it's definitely a hotel you never forget. During the day, Basil gets to stay in this massive field with his friends. He has a mini horse friend. Ah, é fixe eles mostrarem, senão parece que o cavalo está ali de noite só para dar a malta olhar para ele. Basically just walk around so and eat all day. Of course, Basil has neighbors, like larger horses. The Airbnb host gave me a tour and let me meet the cows. And there's sheep with interesting names. So they're pretty much all friendly apart from this one. And his name? Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So lambs a little. Incredible. After dark, Basil comes back inside to relax and hang for the rest of the day. Doing good? Ah, ele ficou aí dois dias. I found this guest book. These drawings are insane. After you stay here, your only job is to draw a picture of Basil in this book. <laughs> Scott, age 45. <laughs> Nays to meet you. I'm Basil. Some of these are kind of scary. Oh, man. All the pages meu. of the guest book are full, except for this one, which is unfinished. So I have a plan. Honestly, although I had a great time with the bears and Misha the tiger... Obrigado, amor! Sejam todos bem-vindos! And just getting to relax right here on a farm in a barn with a mini horse is something I'll never forget. Yeah, so I tried my best to recover the drawing. I'm not an artist. A Riti ia curtir o que a gente estava aqui a ver. I'll see you later. 
Não, foda-se, a Rita é, mano. Quando se tem caga, tem-se caga, não é verdade? 